Hello there people, this is Christian and welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360. This is in reply of a question on the Facebook user group about chamfering a corner. In this case I specifically do it on a box where all faces are perpendicular. Uh, it can be used, to, you can adapt it to other shapes but just to keep it simple for now. I'm using two different workflows. One here that uh, in most cases work uh, if you have a big feature or no protruding things away. Other one works better or basically if you do this workflow heat it will eat up this small feature on the body. It will disappear. So let's start with the simple one. We're gonna oh forget about painting. I have a design intent of course. They are both the same these chamfers and they are dimensions so they are supposed to be 12 millimeter. The corner or the vertex of this chamfer should be 12 meters away from this face here. Let's close that inspection and turn on our beautiful green component. And we're going to start using the chamfer tool. We cannot chamfer our corner for now. We always chamfer edges. So we're going to select this edge, this edge and this edge. Now comes the important dimensioning part. We cannot dimension this 12 millimeters because we're going to, it pushes this face in the corner too far in. What we do, we type in 12 and divide it by two. That creates the needed chamfer we need. So you do it, the chamfer is half of the final chamfer you want of this uh, corner face. Hit OK. Select these two faces, hold down Control to select them. You can right click or do whatever you want to find the delete. You can also use the delete of a keyboard. And by doing that we have chamfer the corner. Inspect to check that everything get correct. Yes, we have a 12 millimeter chamfer. That's good. So let's close that one and look at the other side. In this case, we have, I've just done a small cut here. You might have things here like threaded holes or something and you don't want to, because if we do a chamfer here now, let's see if we can do this. Uh, this corner, 12, we supposedly then divided by two. You can see, see parts of the, the feature here, but this, the problem is that it, this problem that it might destroy other geometry you have in the body. So you cannot use the earlier here or you might make it so big so it crashes the feature out here. So we need another workflow and this is the geometry workflow, sketching and extruding. Step number one, we need a mid-plane. We're going to do a mid, whoops, sorry, wrong. Construction, mid-plane between these two faces. So we get a plane that is pointed between these two faces. We're going to create a sketch on this face. Hit P for project, project in these two edges. Going to hide the body for now, make it a bit easier to see. Going to do a line, make sure you don't need to get any auto constraints to midpoints or anything, just simply from the line to the line. We can start by adding a dimension from here to here. Uh, I like to name this, let's call it, I have an earlier name here, so we we'll just make chamfer corner like that. Gonna make it 12. Now in this case we put in the dimension we want because that's how far we want this vertex from this face, so that's correct. The other thing I need, and now we need to know where this line goes in this direction, we need a square. So I'm gonna use a polygon tool, circumscribe polygon here. Turn over to construction geometry because we don't want these lines to confuse us. We tab over and hit 4 so we get a square. No dimension of this for now. Another thing we do, we do a coincident constraint between uh, this and here. And we need a dimension. So we could dimension this. Make sure it gets aligned and doesn't pop over to horizontal or vertical. Move it out or right click, select a line so you lock in the dimension and simply pick up this dimension, right, just click on it and tap enter. And by that we have a fully constrained sketch. We're gonna finish sketch, turn on our body, and hit E on the keyboard for solid extrude, extrude, switch over to symmetric, and here I'm just gonna use my chamfer corner, that's one, the other one is for my earlier I did, like that, it's gonna pull it if I use this dimension, it pulls it right to, oh, so it cuts the whole body. Uh, operation cut, of course, and OK. Wait for Fusion to think and hide the sketch. And we can do an inspect to check what we have done with everything correct. So from here to these two corners, oh, come on, 
inspection tool corner to corner 12 millimeters and if we want to check that we are having an equilateral triangle we can click two, two edges and see that they are the same length so this is two different focus um, an easy one with chamfer you don't have too much things in the way we can store and a sketch version where you do the sketching and then do an extrude hope it's helpful take care see you around and goodbye